Hi, and welcome back to this channel. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to design a parallax effect uh, like this one you can see on the screen here. When you scroll down, you can see the parallax effect in action. So I'm going to be designing this parallax effect using HTML and CSS. So now let's go inside the code. So the first tag I'm going to write, as usual, will be the div tag. And then I'm going to give it a class of container one. And then inside, I will add another div tag. And I will give it a class of uh, overlay, like this. And inside, I will say h2 tag. And I'm going to write some text in here. So I can say coding river. You can write any text you want. So that's actually it. So I will simply copy this and then paste it. So I will paste it like this. And like this. so this one, I will simply change container two. And here I will say container three. And coding river down here, I'm going to write some text. I can say parallax, for example, parallax effect. And then here I could simply write something like subscribe. Okay, as I was saying, you can write uh, whatever text you want. So this is just an example I'm showing. So after writing the HTML part of the code, we can now write our CSS part of the code. So I'm going to start by writing the generic CSS properties. So I will say body as usual. I will say margin zero, padding zero as well. And then the font family. Okay, I will say popping because that's the Google font I have um, uh, imported. As you can see here, I have imported a Google font uh, called Poppins. And that's what I'm going to be using throughout this design. So the first class I'm going to style will be container one. Okay, because that was the first class. Uh, yeah, this is container one. So I'm going to start with container one and then I will move on to container uh, two. So I will start by the height. I will say 90 VH and then the width will be 100%. Then the background, instead of using the color, um, I'm going to say background image. Okay, so I'll simply say URL and then inside here, I'm going to write the path to the image. Uh, let, let me see what kind of image we can put in here. Uh, so I have my images folder here. Um, so I'm going to put image two here. So I'm simply going to write image, image two dot jpg. Yeah, I think that's it. And then I will say background size, cover, and then display table and I will say background attachment. So in order to get the, the parallax effect, I need to add the background attachment and I will say fixed. Okay. So that this image in the background is going to be fixed. All right. So I will simply copy this one and then paste it. Uh, so oh, let me copy this container one paste it here and I will change to container two and I will paste again. I will simply keep the same properties uh, for container two and container three like this. So now if I come and open my uh, index.html file in the browser, there we will see the images. All right. So now I'm going to start with the um, text. No, I'm going to style the overlay class. So here I will say width 100% and then height 100%. I will say position. Uh, so I will say relative, then display flex. So I would want the text or the content to be centered. So I will say justify content centered and align items center as well. And I will save. Let me open in the browser here. Okay, so overflow, hidden, then save. Oh, my bad. Oh, I have to change these images. So here I need to put 
image one uh, and image three because here we already put image two then save when i refresh yeah so as you can see i have all the three images and then the parallax effect is also uh, taking effect here yes so let me come back to my overlay here then i can put the background color i would say rgba and here i'll put 47 comma 114 comma 0.7 and save i can leave it like this when i refresh yeah so the overlay is now taking effect so as you can see here the text is black so i need to change the color of the text but here let me first of all add a transition so I'll say seven second is and then after that uh i guess we said h2 here so h2 for the text so i will simply say h2 like this uh so i will say font size will be 60 pixels and then the color um very simply say white then let me refresh like this yeah so now as you can see the color of the text has changed i can add some other effect i could say border for example uh, eight pixels solid white yeah and then add um, padding so 15 pixels 35 pixels yes so that's it i could also make sure that the text is vertically aligned i'll say vertical align middle and uh, margin zero all right guys so that's it uh you have your parallax effect as you can see when you scroll down the image is fixed okay the background image is fixed but then you can scroll down and uh, see the various texts in the various containers i hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and uh, let's meet in the next video just like this one